Today, we are going to take on a huge task, and that task is fighting the Ender Dragon. So let's get geared up and let's get ready to go. So to go fight the dragon, we need to get to the end. And to get to the end, we need to find a stronghold. Now, strongholds can typically be found underneath villages, but not every village. Actually, they're not very common at all. So we have a village over there. We have a village over there. If we're lucky, it might be underneath one of them. But odds are it probably won't be. So we need to have a way to find this stronghold. And also there's a portal in that stronghold that takes you to the end. And that portal is going to require something special to activate it. In both of these cases, we need Eyes of Ender. Now to make Eyes of Ender, you need two ingredients. You need Ender Pearls, which luckily we have easy access here via our cleric once I level him up a bunch. Hold on a second. And there we go. So we can buy ourselves a bunch of ender pearls from our cleric friend here. If you don't have a cleric to buy ender pearls from, you're gonna have to do this the hard way. You're gonna have to go through and kill endermen and they don't always drop ender pearls. I suggest you always have a looting sword with you. That way you have a better chance of getting ender pearls or multiple ender pearls. And you're gonna have to go somewhere where you're gonna be more likely to see endermen. My recommendation is a warped forest in the nether because endermen spawn very frequently there. If you go there you spend 30 minutes or so you should be able to get all the ender pearls you need i'm going to recommend right now that you get somewhere between 16 to 18 of them the other thing that you're going to need to make eyes of ender is going to be this right here blaze rods or specifically you need to convert the blaze rods into blaze powder it looks like we're gonna need a little bit more of them we went over blaze rods in the last episode where we conquered the nether fortresses so i recommend going back to watch that episode if you need to know how to easily get blaze rods as you can see though we can now make eyes of ender now, the reason why I'm telling you to bring 16 to 18 of them, first of all, this uh, portal frame, it can be anywhere from full of these things and the portal's already activated, or it could have no eyes of ender in it. No eyes of ender would mean that you have to use 12 of them to activate the portal to get into the end. So we need 12 for that. Also, as you use Eyes of Ender to find the stronghold, which I will demonstrate later, it's possible that those Eyes of Ender could get destroyed in the process of using them. So carrying 18 should make sure that we are nice and safe to find our stronghold without running out or having too few of the Eyes of Ender. So 18, pretty solid number. That's what I'd go with. Now, first things first, we need to get prepared for our dragon fight by bringing certain things. And depending on what you may or may not be doing, you may want to go to the end and find elytra and shulker boxes and things of that nature directly after you defeat the dragon if so you're probably going to want to bring some extra things but i think i'm going to leave those extra things out for now because i don't think we're going to go straight from one to the other we're going to have uh, something in between before we do that but there are some things that we will bring we will bring a shield with us we will bring our mending bow with us and if you're a good shot 64 arrows is all you need even if you're an okay shot 64 arrows is all you need if you're not that great of a shot and you're using a mending bow since it's the superior bow you can bring an extra sack of 64 or if you really want to you you can bring an infinity bow and then you have infinite arrows i'll leave that part up to you guys you know my preference you're going to want your best gear. In this case, we got netherite in the last episode. So netherite gear is what we're wearing. I highly recommend that you have netherite armor before you fight the dragon because netherite, if you see down there at the bottom of the listing, says plus one knockback resistance. That means that you don't get knocked back by mobs that have knockback effect anywhere near as far. In this case, the ender dragon has a really strong knockback effect when she swoops down on you. So having netherite gear means you won't get flung up to the air and you're a lot less likely to die from fall damage or something of that nature also you want to make sure you have feather falling four on your boots that's going to help make sure that if you do fall down from a high place you're really not going to take a lot of damage you're going to be safe so try to have netherite gear first and feather falling on your boots but i will try to show you methods of fighting the dragon that will help you even if you don't have these things you are going to want a bucket full of water uh endermen hate water so if you get sworn by them you can place water on the ground to get rid of them or get them away from you so you don't die and also you can use water to comfort your fall or get down from the pillars that you're going to make while you're trying to break the end crystals which we'll go over once we get there so water bucket definitely a big one 
Don't forget it. Bring yourself a couple stacks of torches as well, because torches could be good for marking your way whenever you're looking through the stronghold to try to find the end portal. That place can really be a maze. So a couple stacks of these guys will do you a lot of good. Speaking of stacks of things, stacks of dirt or any other block will be good to bring with you as well for a couple different reasons. First of all, you can also use this as a marker in the stronghold, but more importantly, you're going to need to pillar up and down and make like little blockade things above your head to make sure Endermen don't attack you. So having anywhere from two to four stacks of a solid block is going to be a big recommendation. You're also going to want to bring a bed to set your spawn point in case you die. You can spawn right there by the end portal to easily go back in and get your stuff. Do not forget a bed because if you do, you will be sorry. And here's a little known secret. Let me know down in the comment section below if you did not know about this trick, but you will want to bring a carved pumpkin with you. Why? Because you can wear it on your head like this. Not only do you look really cool and scary, it also makes it so the Enderman can't see you. It does obscure your view. It's kind of weird. It makes it a little hard to see, especially when like trying to shoot the dragon and do stuff. But if you're the type to accidentally look at Enderman, especially if you're playing on console or mobile, it could be a little bit harder to like very precisely look around. This will make sure that Enderman never know that you're looking at them and they won't attack you. So I recommend bringing this if that's a worry of yours. Couple final things I recommend that you bring. Number one, glass bottles. Um, glass bottles can be used to scoop up the the dragon's breath, which is an attack done by the dragon. And that could be used in certain potions later on when we go over potions. If you're not worried about potions, you don't need it, but it's usually a good idea to go ahead and just grab a bunch just so you have it for future possible things you may decide to do. And finally, I recommend bringing a stack of wood. A stack of wood is always a good idea to bring with you almost anywhere because you can easily make it into blocks. If you need to place down chests for any reason, you can use that to make chests. So bring yourself a stack of wood just so that way you have that option to do so if you need to and with that we're ready oh i need more i need more food have plenty of food maybe even two stacks because if you die you might drop your food down on the ground you should be able to find it again but you also might not so uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring just a couple stacks of food with us just in case i'm not personally like worried about dying because honestly the ender dragon's not that hard of a fight especially if you're kitted out already but just for good precaution we'll bring it anyways Oh, and I almost forgot one more thing we need is a boat because we may possibly have to travel over like long areas of water. So having a boat can make that part a little bit easier too. And with that, we're ready to go on our adventure. Let's go. And after a long journey, 3,000 blocks, in fact, a little bit more, um, we're here, I think. This has led us to a village, and I can tell you that usually speaking, the center of the stronghold is underneath a well. So what will happen when you get close like this is if I throw this, it might go down into the ground, and we're going to have to dig it out. Let's see. Okay. Oh, nope. It's going up. Still, I really hope it doesn't take me past this village. If I go over here, let's go like to this side of the village. That is here. So we are directly over top of a stronghold. And if I stand somewhere right in here, there it goes. Our center of our stronghold is right here. Let's see if we can find up. Oh, there's our eye of Ender. So now we have the task of digging straight down. That's right. I'm going to ask you to dig straight down, but digging straight down doesn't have to be literally straight down. Make sure you do it in a two by one. So that way you can dig straight down, but never actually fall straight down. This is important to not dying. And we have found where we're looking for because we see this stone right here. It may be kind of hard to find this sometimes. You may not dig directly down into the area where you would need to drop into to like actually fall in. So once you get down to about this level, about Y level 30 or so, Y level 20, start looking around, like digging side to side and that sort of thing. And you should find your stronghold. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a couple things to mark our way. First of all, it does get kind of dark down here. So we will use torches periodically. If we're lucky we may find the room that has the portal in it pretty soon. 
I'm going to block off areas that I know for sure I don't want to go back to. So like we'll block that off. I'll maybe even block this off right here so we don't have to go through that door. Ooh, we have a library down here. Do I need to block anything off here? No, not yet. We're going to come back through here. I want to show you guys the library real quick. Now for us, we don't really need the books here because we can pretty easily trade for them. But if you need a lot of books early on in a game, this is so the place to get it. You can get so many books. It's really nice. And there's usually going to be chests here too. I think we can maybe spot a little bit easier if we get top side. There's our ladder. Ah, there's a chest right there. Is there a second one? No, we got one chest. Okay, let's go grab that chest. Oh, no, there's another one over here, too. I somehow forgot to bring an axe. And you can take a look in here. Man, we got some books, compass, paper. Like, nothing nothing too great for us in the stage of the game that we're in. You can sometimes find enchanted books in here. There's not usually too much that's extremely valuable in them. Like, there's a enchanted book that if we were beginning game, like, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, there's an unknown map. We'll take that with us, I guess. And we're just going to go through. We're going to continue searching around until we find our portal. Because it could be anywhere. Let's go back to the beginning where we were. Nothing here. That there. And this didn't take long at all. I maybe stopped recording like a minute ago and we've already found it. We did find this chest right here. Nothing special. You can get some horse armor, but here it is. I was able to locate it. Now this right here, this is a silverfish spawner. They serve literally no purpose. So if you ever wanted to break a spawner, you wanted to be crazy and adventurous, this is your one to break. We're getting rid of it because you can't block their spawns other than filling the area. And we're not going to do that. So he's gone. But here we go. This is the portal. And look, it's got no eyes of ender in it. So good thing we brought ourselves some extra. Before we light this guy up, though, we're going to set up a little base camp. We're going to put down a bed here. We're going to click it to set our spawn. Uh, we are going to set down a crafting table so we can make ourselves a double chest. And anything we don't for sure need to bring into the dragon fight, we're going to put it in here. Like, I don't need eyes of ender anymore. I don't need this map. We got some drops along the way. I don't really need any of them either. Uh, we're going to bring our stacks of dirt. We're going to set up our hot bar here. So we're going to equip our shield. We're going to have our dirt on our hot bar, our sword, our bow. We don't need the torches in there. We do need the food. We do need the water. And we'll put the bottles on our hot bar too. And this should be, this should be all that we need. So... I, I actually, yes, I did actually put the eyes of Ender in there. Like, I don't need the eyes of Ender anymore. Bruh. We're going to go up here. We're going to stand on the portal frame. We're going to click, 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 click. And bam, bam. And the last one you put in. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. We are going to the end. And we have a dragon to slay. But first, before you do, you should know to be extremely careful here because you are going to spawn in on a small obsidian platform. If you're lucky, it's buried in some endstone. If you're not lucky, it's floating out in the void where you can easily fall and lose all your stuff. And to keep from losing all your stuff, make sure you have the best gamer gear out there. Razer offers mice, keyboards, headphones, controllers for consoles, and yes, for my mobile players that even have a phone docked controller for you called the Kishi. With options from entry level gamer gear to the best of the best, this is a great way to ensure that you don't die in your world. Use my link down in the description below and let me know in the comment section what gamer gear you bought today. And oh my gosh. Luckily with my Razer keyboard and mouse, I don't have to worry about falling into the void here. Although I'm not going to lie, I'm still a little bit scared. We're going to hold down the crouch button here. And what we'll do is after we get a, like a little bit better of a path here, we're going to dig in and be extremely careful. Okay, we made ourselves a little home base down here. I don't think we'll need it, but it's there for us in case we do. And it's time to dig up high here. And eventually we're gonna pop through and we're gonna be careful to not look at the Enderman, unless you're wearing the pumpkin helmet. If you're wearing the pumpkin helmet, looking at the Enderman does not matter. If you're not using the pumpkin helmet, what you're gonna to wanna to do is this. We actually just got ourselves a bunch of endstone, but you can use your block that you brought too. You wanna to set yourself up a few safe zones like this, because if you stand under here, an Enderman, he cannot hit you. So I'm going to skip like every like two or three of these uh, pillars. And we're going to do those first. We're going to ignore the dragon. Now, that dragon, she's going to come and hit you. If you're like me and you have netherite gear, you're fine. It's not going to hurt you that much at all. Um, do be careful for her to shoot out the dragon's breath. You need to get out of it fast if she does. If you do not have netherite gear when she hits you, She's going to knock you up pretty high up in the air. So just like be extra careful. Ow. Okay, that was a dragon. So now like we're safe. We have safe zones from the inner dragon. That's the dragon's breath. We need to be careful of that. But we can scoop it up with our bottle, like I mentioned before, and use this later on. We're going to place one more of these little safe zones. Boom. 
There, we're good. We got safe zones for days. Okay, now we need to actually do the things that we need to have done to defeat the Ender Dragon. So, one of those steps is going to be taking out these end crystals. So all the ones that are kind of like lower on the ground that we can see don't have cages on them, we're gonna shoot at them and take them down. They can be a little tricky to hit because the hitboxes are kind of low on them. So you just gotta know to, to aim a little low. And then once you get all of the ones that you can reach, then you're gonna have to pillar up to get the rest. But I think we can get this one. Yes. And there's one up there, it might be too high. Uh, we're gonna get the high ones while we're up high, actually, I think. Right now, like fighting and hitting the dragons, not gonna do anything for you. Cause you can see here as I hit her, I can take a bunch of health, but she's gonna fly around and she's gonna get those little beam shot at her. Those are coming from the end crystals. That's actually healing her health up. So if you have like top level gear, like right now I could probably after several several attempts, I could probably fight her and kill her even with her getting healed, but we're gonna make it easier on ourselves and do things the proper way. And we're gonna break all of the, um. oh gosh. See, look, he's after me, he's after me, right? Look, I can run in here. I'm safe, he can't hit me. He wants to, but he can't get me. Hello? Ow, sneaky little bugger. All right, we're going to pick a high one without a cage first, I guess, just so we can get up there. Now, this is a good way to save yourself from getting knocked down by the dragon. You're going to pillar up, but you're going to do it on the side facing the dragon, because if she hits you up in the air, it's probably just going to knock you into the obsidian. That's not that bad. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pillar up as quick as we can right after she swooped, because this gets us the most amount. Ow. And, she, and she's going to be a butt sometimes to do that. Oh, nope, nope, nope. And she's gonna do that sometimes too and absolutely ruin your plans. Uh, we need her, I, oh, ow, ow. Okay, Um, she's being really mean right now. Oh, don't, please don't look at me. Um, She's being like extra aggressive currently. We're gonna just kind of like bide our time, regen our health, like you're actually safer further out, like going out here. She won't sweep this far. So if you wanna keep yourself from getting hit while you regen health, just kind of go out this far, you'll be okay. I say that, and here she comes. Okay, apparently she doesn't care, and she'll come out as far as she feels like she needs to go. Um, we're gonna quickly grab our dirt, and uh, we're gonna go up a different pillar. We'll go up this one. And when you do this, you have to go fast. As you kind of already seen, like she's gonna swoop in and try to knock us off. All right, now that we're up here, it looks like we already got this one, which is fine. Oh! Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. She's, um, she's not being nice at all. Holy crap, um, we need to back out of here. We're just gonna kind of move around, stay somewhere where she can't like knock us too far. I've never had this much trouble with the Ender Dragon before. She's like extra today. All right, um, let's try to go in. We're gonna wait for her to perch. Okay, she's perched. And she's flying again, I think. And this is, this is getting really old. Stop it! What is? What is going on with this? All right, we're gonna take a different different strategy here. I'm gonna try to knock down the rest of these that don't have cages on them. All right, this one's almost run out. Okay, now once you get up top, you do have to break these ender crystals if they're around you. Oh gosh, ow. Okay, we're gonna move to the back side here. And the closer you are to it, the more damage it can do to you when you break it. So just back up a little bit. Again, if you have decent gear, you're probably gonna be all right. Um, and then we're going to try to pluck all of these ones that we could not reach before while we're up here, which I, th I think we just did. And uh, we're going to work away. Oh, ow. I definitely broke the wrong one there, didn't I? Okay, we're fine. Feather falling. Feather falling makes it all okay. Now we just got to break the ones in the cages. All right, let's see if we can get up to this one real quick. All right, let's just break the corner here. And... Bam, okay, now work her way down. She was being extremely difficult earlier. Right now, this isn't bad. I don't I don't know what her deal was when she was attacking me like nonstop, but we should be able to power through the rest of this. Okay, now that we have knocked down all of the end crystals, we can just sit here and we could kill the dragon. She's gonna be pretty easy to take one. She's gonna fly around a little bit. You don't have to shoot her because she'll always come back and turn to her perch, but if you wanna have a little target practice, go for it. Oh, she's back on her perch. Let's come over here and say hello again. Finish filling up her final bottles. And here she comes. 
and we have killed the dragon. Now we get the reward of a ton of experience points. Oh yeah, rain down on me XP. And you also get the reward of the dragon egg. Now we can't just pick this thing up because it teleports, but there's a little trick that you can use to get the egg. That's not it. And to obtain the dragon egg here, we have a good location to do this. What we're gonna do, oh, I need a torch and I don't have one. Um, oh, can I borrow this? Place the torch right here, break the block, boom. We have ourselves the dragon egg. Now, one last thing you need to know, every time you kill the dragon, and you can kill the dragon multiple times, we'll go over that again in the future, but it makes one of these, a end gateway. This end gateway will take you out far into the outer area of the end by the end islands, where we can get a whole lot of things we're gonna go over in the next episode. But you need to know, this thing appears. So look around for it and we're going to go over in the next episode how to pillar up to it, make yourself a safe space, and then raid the end because the end probably has still the best goodies in the entire game. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you check out that awesome Razor gear. Thanks everybody, I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.